basically when we get to our new house there's really only one spot that the cats can be and that would have to be in the garage and the garage is big it's cool we could set it up really nice but the truth of the matter is, is we know that we won't be going in there very often so uh, <laughs> bless you so what we're gonna have to do for the better of the cats oh, <laughs> is um, you know relocate Sebastian to one of our friends and give uh, cotton back to her dad and that doesn't mean that we don't love them or care about them it means that we love them and care about them more than more than any of you think because we want them to have the best possible hi guys it's Riley welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel if you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe and let's get on with the video today we are going to be talking about Acacia Brindley because she has been getting a lot of negative attention lately there's been a lot of videos made about her and there are a lot of people very angry and mad at her and it took me a while to make this video because I will admit the rabbit hole is deep when it comes to her there's so many layers to uncover and there's so much stuff to talk about because it's pretty deep and it's really bad and I'm not going to be talking about every single thing and I'm not going to be showing you every single thing because honestly her past videos that she made it's just so so bad and I do not want that on my channel so we're gonna try to keep this as lighthearted as possible but that given don't send hate to her at all I'm just making a video because I found this very really interesting and I find a lot of people's conspiracy theories about her very interesting so let's get into it. So Acacia was started off as like a Tumblr girl. She started making Tumblr posts and stuff like that. Then which moved on to YouTube. I don't know if she did Tumblr first or YouTube first or whatever. But she was on Tumblr and YouTube for a very long time making videos, everything like that. And people noticed that her old videos are very racist or saying the n-word and everything like that it's just it's not good and there's multiple 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 videos of her doing this and her saying those things and everything like that and she was young when she was saying it it's not like she was a 18 year old or anything like that but i mean it's still something that will haunt her for the rest of her life because it is on the internet and she noticed that those videos were resurfacing this is what she said on twitter she said many years ago I said a racial slur more than one I'm sorry that I did and I'm sorry that I cannot change what I did trust me I wish I could I'm sorry beyond remorseful I will continue to do all that I can to show my true beliefs and that I support the black community she said I'm moving forward and I hope you can forgive me and move forward too I'll take my time and you deserve yours I love you so much I really do hate that I hurt my black fears because you really do mean so much to me I'll see you soon have a good night and when people started seeing the videos resurfacing on Twitter and everything like that of her, you know, saying all these racial slurs, people were mad. Like, as people should be, you know, that's not cool for anyone to say. But people were so mad that they were reaching out to the companies who sponsor her and they were letting her know that this was going on so she would get her sponsorships taken away. I did see that. I don't have any screenshots, but I have seen, like, people saying that they have reached out to her sponsors and they don't want her to get sponsors anymore because of what she said in the past but then there's a whole rabbit hole of acacia and her animals and her animal neglect and this is so strange to me because i couldn't find any like proof like i was watching like all the tea videos and everyone was saying oh yeah she has neglected animals but i haven't really seen any proof i'm like how do you know that she's neglected animals and stuff like that and then i saw this one video of her like announcing that she got a cat and then another cat and then dog and then another dog and she wants to give the cat away and the dog away and there and then there's some video of her going on she went away for like four days and left her cat with like food and water and then she came back and the cat didn't even eat the food and water because it was infected with ants so the cat didn't even eat for four days which we get home and we see that our house has been taken over by ants Disgusting. and we feel terrible because cotton was staying here and we gave him like two bowls of food and just like a giant thing of water so he'd be fine while we were gone for four days and we come back and I'm like, wait, why didn't Cotton eat any of his food? And I turn the light on and it's just like... 
covered with ants, like in every spot. So he didn't eat anything because the ants were just all over it. Just like freaking insane. There's this pattern that you see with her to where she gets an animal and either, I don't know what happens to the animal. I don't know if she just doesn't like the animal anymore or if the animal's behaving badly or if she's not treating the animal right or if she didn't train the animal right. You know, sometimes animals act a certain way because you're not training them properly. She has this pattern of buying, of getting an animal and then giving it away to a family or a friend and having these excuses of why she's giving the animals away. So she has gone through many dogs and cats throughout her days on YouTube and it's very like weird in my opinion. I'm like, I've seen like the tea videos of people like showing how many dogs and cats she had. I'm like, oh my gosh, like how? How do you just like keep on fluctuating the animals? Like that's really bizarre to me in my opinion. So when she made a video, I'm pretty sure about a month ago, people were furious because she got a new animal. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, some other new news is that we got a puppy. Um, her name is Poppy. She is a dachshund. Um, she is literally the best thing in the whole world. We have been seriously debating getting a puppy for like two years now. And we felt like now we're, you know, ready for... The commitment um, and Lucy is ready to be a mommy. So people have the suspicion of, oh, are you going to get rid of the other animal that you have now? Like she has a dog named Lucy. So everyone's like, oh, are you just going to get rid of Lucy and like keep this other dog? Like what's going on? Um, people were really furious when they found out that she got another dog. And I'm pretty sure she said that she got another dog so she can go on adventures with it. We wanted a small dog because we already had a big dog. Um, and Jairus and I have been wanting a dachshund for like forever because we think that they're like one of the best dogs But like I said, we already have a giant dog. So we definitely didn't want another big dog. We wanted a small little pup that we could um, Basically just like take places and Yeah, adventure with but she can easily do that with the dog she has now, right? People have the suspicion of now that she got another dog, she's going to get rid of Lucy or something like that. That's the thing with her animal. Now people think that she is neglecting her second daughter, which this is not my personal opinion. This is what I've been seeing around on the internet, so take this as you will. But there has been multiple pictures of her laying her daughter down, her, her daughter Rosie, laying her down on the floor a lot and just laying her down on the floor. And there's even like a video, and I'll show this video that I've been seeing a lot. It's over here. Are you eating an apple? Are you eating an apple on the floor? Did daddy give you an apple? She also, there's also like a clip of her shaving her daughter's head. Rose's hair was getting a little crazy. <laughs> so we shaved it off. There it is. It looks so long. It was getting crazy. Just, just this part. Which, I don't know if that's a normal thing for moms to do, like shaving their like daughter's hair, but I don't think it's a normal thing. I don't know, I've never seen someone shave their daughter's head on YouTube. I feel like that's a little bit strange. You no, know, like it's normal to like trim a baby's hair with like scissors, but not full on shaving their head, you know? That to me was like a little bizarre, but maybe I'm overreacting, I don't know. Yeah, people think that she cares more about Brinley then Rosie, Brindley's her first daughter, Rosie's her second daughter because I don't know, people have been like pointing stuff out like pictures on Instagram and stuff like that and how her second daughter just seems to be like neglected. Well, we call this baby the forgotten baby. <laughs> and I don't feel like, in my, my personal opinion, I don't feel like she's neglecting her daughter. I feel like she loves both of her daughters the same. Everyone makes mistakes. It could seem a certain way online, but in real life it's different. So we've got to remember that. But the whole animal neglect thing is a little, it's really strange to me in my opinion. 
but anyway that's what i have to say about this whole situation it is crazy it is wild let me know what you have to say do you watch acacia i watched her from time to time i loved her videos how like natural it seemed and how you know it didn't seem staged for the camera but now that all of this is like uncovering it kind of makes me feel weird watching her videos you know anyway oh also in the recent video her daughter is out in public and she's not wearing shoes and she's like in public walking barefoot which wish that i could stay wish for this moment to never go away but it's all in my mind it's highly 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 not hygienic in my opinion but anyway like this video if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more content from me and i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys bye guys love you